Now, if you follow my channel, you know I'm a huge fan of the Surface line. Recently, I gave you my long-term review of the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3, the 13.5-inch version. I came away extremely impressed, one of my favorite clamshell laptops of all time. I loved its sheer minimalism, and I liked its sheer quality. But I really had my eye on the 15-inch version as well, and I picked one up at the same time. But I didn't bring you my review because I wanted to bring a long-term look at it. I wanted to really put it through its paces, as I did with the 13.5-inch model. Hey, everybody. It's Andrew, and this is my review of the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3, the 15-inch variant, AMD versus Intel. We'll find out which one comes ahead. Coming up. Want to see more videos like this? Why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. This way you'll be alerted every time I upload a new video. Make sure you follow me on my social media, especially Twitter and Instagram. That's where I post all the latest updates. And in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by Microsoft. I'm not being sponsored by Microsoft. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own and no one is seeing this video before its release. I did not receive a review unit from Microsoft. I purchased it with my own money. Pricing for the 15-inch Laptop 3, the AMD Ryzen version starts at $1199 US. If you want to get the one geared toward the businesses that anybody can buy, I'll put the link below. That is the Intel Ice Lake processors. That starts at $1299 US. Again, all the latest pricing in the link below. And with that out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Now, lifting the lid, you're greeted by the unit, of course. We'll get to that in just a moment. An extension cord, 65 watt power adapter with an extra USB port to charge peripherals such as your smartphone. I like that. You also get your documentation. Now, it never fails. Every time I hold a Surface laptop, I'm so impressed with the look and build quality. It is so premium feeling in the hand. It is excellent. I love that. That's one of the things I love. Went with the Platinum this time, and of course, course this will show a lot less fingerprints than the matte black and for those wondering yes you can lift it with one finger good engineering on their part okay let's check out the port selection on the left is a USB a 3.1 port a USB C 3.1 that's new we like that and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack moving over to the right side is only one port and that's of course your surface connect port where you can charge this laptop now I like the inclusion of that USB C 3.1 port it does data charge and display out although it is not a Thunderbolt three ports so please keep that in mind and just like the 13.5 inch version the ssd is replaceable ifixit did a great job on how to get inside this laptop link will be in the video description below and speaking of the ssd this is the reads and write results from the crystal disk mark test that i got on the amd ryzen 5 version of the laptop 3 Decent reads, the writes could be a little bit higher, but then again, that was the 128 version in terms of storage. Now, one of the biggest benefits of going with that 15 inch over the 13.5 inch version is the screen real estate. You get more to work with and pair that with a three to two aspect ratio. This is a productivity dream. Now it's got a pretty sharp resolution, 2496 by 1664. It's got really deep blacks and very vibrant colors. It's also got excellent contrast, excellent color accuracy, and it covers the color gamut really well you're looking at 98% sRGB 74% Adobe RGB so this is good for both Photoshop and video editing it's also a very bright display now the AMD Ryzen version comes in at 380 nits which is really good and the Intel version comes in at 368 nits both well above my 300 nit threshold good for both indoor and outdoor use but one of the biggest negatives of these displays, of course, is the fact that it's a highly glossy display and it really is very reflective. You will see a lot of glare and a lot of reflection. So that's not something I really do like. So that's my biggest negative with an otherwise excellent display. And the other thing I'd like to see in the next variant is an HDR option. That's not something we get on these laptops. It's something that its competition is definitely offering. So we'd like to see that on the next version. And it doesn't have the slimmest of bezels, especially when you compare it to some of its competition. Again, these are things I'd like to see in the next version, but don't get me wrong. This is an excellent 15-inch display. I'm really happy with it. But again, these are just nitpicking things. But again, I'd like to see some improvements on the next version. So this is the front-facing camera on the Surface Laptop 3 15-inch 
model. It's the AMD versus the Intel. Of course, you can get it in either variant. And both are good, but I would say the Intel is a little bit better. Now, as far as the camera is concerned, it is a 720p, 30 frames per second webcam. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about it. It's good for Skype. It's good for video conferencing, of course. But again, I want to know what you think. Let me know. Now, if you saw my review of the Surface Laptop 3 13.5 inch version, you would know that I absolutely love the keyboard. Now, this is no exception on the 15 inch version. I absolutely love it as well. Good tactile feedback, excellent key travel, really comfortable to type on for long periods of time. Everything you'd want in a keyboard, including a multi-stage backlight that allows you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment. All good on that front. And I love the touchpad. It's a precision touchpad. It has a nice size to it. Two finger scrolling is buttery smooth. All the gestures work as advertised. It's phenomenal, in fact. Now, there are different variants when it comes to the Surface Laptop 3 and the 15 inch model. You can get it with the AMD Ryzen processor, or you can get it with the Intel Ice Lake processors. And I would go with the Ice Lake, obviously, because you're going to get better performance. It's a little bit more efficient as well. But don't get me wrong, the AMD Ryzen processors are getting a bad rap, I think, unnecessarily. I think they did a decent job in their collaboration with Microsoft, but again, not quite as good as the Intel processors right now. And when it comes to gaming, you can see that the Intel 10th generation Ice Lake processors did well, especially paired with that Intel Iris Plus graphics, a definite step up in terms of graphics performance over something you would get last year. But again, this is the first time we got a 15 inch Surface Laptop 3. Older titles will certainly play better than the more modern AAA titles. At the end of the day, this is still not a dedicated gaming laptop. As for the AMD variants, well, it didn't do quite as well in terms of gaming as its Ice Lake counterpart. And I would say, that the gaming is actually pretty decent again older titles if you lower the settings you'll get more playable frame rates but not terrible by any stretch certainly not a gaming laptop in its own right keep that in mind and as far as thermals are concerned, I think Microsoft did a decent job on both the Intel and the AMD variants with the Intel slightly cooler than the AMD version. So keep that in mind. But I think the overall takeaway from this is that cooling and thermals are actually pretty good. Now, they both will have fans that will kick in under heavy load, not too loud, not too noticeable. And that's always good. Now, both the Intel and AMD variants have a 45 watt hour battery. And here's how it did on my continuous web surfing test over Wi-Fi at 150 nits. And you're looking at about an hour and a half more on the Surface Laptop 3 Business Edition with the Intel processor over the Ryzen variant. It got 9 hours and 35 minutes on my continuous web surfing test. The Ryzen version got 8 hours and 5 minutes. These are both very good battery numbers. Either way, you can't go wrong. Now, if you do need to plug in, it does come with a 65 watt power adapter that has that extra USB port to charge your things like your smart phone which I like and it takes a little bit more than two hours to give you a full charge not too bad Audio is excellent on the Surface Laptop 3. Both the AMD and Intel versions have the same speaker setup, and I gotta tell you, it gets loud, fills up a room rather nicely. There's bass, mids are good. They did an outstanding job once again. And of course, just like the 13 inch version, there is pen support on the 15 inch model. It uses the Surface Pen, which uses the Entrick Pen technology. So you can use other variants of that as well. But I thought it worked well for taking notes, sketching out artwork, but the clamshell really is not the best when it comes to taking notes. I think the Surface Pro 7 and the Surface Pro X are more aptly suited for that task. So to wrap it all up, can I recommend the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3 in the 15 inch variant? And the answer is yes, but the question is which one? AMD Ryzen or the Intel Ice Lake 10th generation processors? I'm gonna give the nod to the Intel processors for slightly better performance and better efficiency in terms of battery life, but the AMD I think got a pretty bad rap unnecessarily by other reviewers. I thought the numbers were there. I thought the performance and battery life were there as well. So I don't think you're gonna go wrong if you decide to go with that AMD variant, it'll save you a little bit of money as well. That's always good. I like the three to two aspect ratio. I like the outstanding keyboard and touchpad. The negatives here, of course, are there's no Thunderbolt 3, no Dolby Vision or anti-glare display. And if you choose the matte black, it is a major fingerprint magnet. There are no real deal breakers here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to give this a score of 96%, earning my AMD Tech Editor's Choice for the 15 inch thin and light laptop category, definitely making it worth your money. So what do you think about this bad boy, the 15-inch Surface Laptop 3? 
Now you can get it with the AMD Ryzen processor. That's the one I have here. You could also get it with the Intel 10th generation Ice Lake processors that are geared toward businesses. But as I demonstrated in the video, you don't need to be a business to buy it. Just go to the link in the description below. You can pick one up. Now it is more expensive than the Ryzen version, but it might be worth it if you're looking for better battery life and better performance. But let's not discount that AMD Ryzen processor just yet. I know a lot of reviewers were putting it down when it got released and I think unfairly. As the numbers demonstrated, it definitely held its own. It wasn't as bad as people made it out to be. In fact, I thought the numbers were quite good. And of course, the Intel version is a little bit more expensive than the AMD Ryzen version. So if you want to save a few bucks, go with the AMD. But then again, you're saving some money. And again, performance was good on the AMD Ryzen version. So just keep that in mind. I liked it so much, I gave it my editor's choice for the 15 inch thin and light laptop category. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya. So what do you think about this? The, the, it's the Surface Laptop 3. Oh my God, I am losing it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm totally losing it. All right, four, three, two, one. So what do you think about... What am I holding? Oh, the Laptop 3, that's right.